Waking with Dr. Bacon. All day with Dr. Bacon. Hey guys, it's Dr. Bacon. Hope everyone's having a great day. We were um, just sexing these plants, and uh, these are our plants under our P2000 and Viper Spectra. And this one looks a little off. I took a look at one of the leaves under my um, loop, and it has a few thrips on it. And you can tell there's some spots on the leaves. There's a little damage already. And this is what the bottom of the leaf looks like. There are some seeds, and there are a few thrips there. They're very hard to see. Let's see if we can get this under the loop. Possibly... So what we're going to do about this is we are uh, going to take out our favorite kind of catch-all, fix-all mammoth can control, which is good for thrips and all kinds of other things. Um, the plants are young enough that I don't think they're injured, and I don't necessarily see them on the other plants, but they may be. So we're just going to spray everything, um, give them maybe 40 minutes to dry and then put them back where they were so uh, mammoth can control is a fungicide and insecticide it's good for thrips it's good for mites it's good for pretty much everything it's corn oil thyme oil and oleic acid are the the main ingredients i try not to use it in flour uh but we have used it in flour and it didn't really seem to it's nothing like neem oil so we're going to mix that up and just hit these guys outside in the dark these are small plants, so we're just going to use our little hand sprayer. And I like one of the things I like about this is it has this dispenser. That's a lot for this, so we're just even going to just use a fraction of what's in there, and that's going to be more than sufficient. It does not take a lot. Let's give it just a little bit more in there. Okay, we're just going to. Carry these outside, make them and put them in a little line, put some gloves on and go to town. And I'll bring them back inside. Here we are the next day. This is, was our plant that had, actually it was this plant, that had the most insect issues and it was relatively isolated to this leaf. And I still see a bunch of stuff on the bottom, so let's get the loop out and see if there's still any life. bouncing around on this guy. So we're going to look underneath here with our loop. Okay, I do see one single thrip. I'll take a picture for you guys. We're going to just uh, use the phone. Put a loop over the lens like that and then turn it, bring it in a little bit to lose some of the vignetting. And that's usually sufficient. And let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, sure, I can. So we got one thrip right here. There's another one on the edge. So we still have a couple walking around. So we removed this leaf. And I think that's where most of them were. We will give this another spray in the morning. I don't want to interrupt the photo cycle by giving these guys another evening of darkness. So um, we're just going to let them go. Make sure no one is light for water. Everyone's good. And we're going to give them another spray in the morning before the lights go out. 
and just for just for good measure so we'll be right back hey guys good morning we're gonna go with captain's dead bug and just use a very weak solution I really haven't had to use this on young plants I haven't had thrips on small plants before and it only looks like it's on one but I'm comfortable using this it won't slow the growth of the plants down it's mostly spinosad which is a bacteria it's not really a poison this is something you can use right up to flower and it tells you so you can also use it on vegetables and a bunch of other things so we're gonna go with this in our little sprayer the lights are already out and it'll 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 do the job I don't know why I didn't do this first it's about 730 I'm actually surprised the lights are still on because I forgot I extended the hours to 11 hours. We're trying to transition these to outside. How convenient. Our light just turned off. We moved them outside to spray them. Well, outside the tent. So we're going to put them back in. We hit them with some spinosad and we took that mail out. So I think that's going to do it for that. I'm almost 100% sure that will take care of that issue without harming the plants. So we'll keep you posted on how this goes. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Like and subscribe. If you guys like music, check out our Spotify channel, Dr. Bacon Community. It's wide open and you can add two songs. Uh, I think we have about five hours of music on there, all from our um, subscribers and friends. So check it out. A lot of good content on there and I bet you can add some more. Like and subscribe. Take care. Love you guys. Bye. Dak Bacon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dr. Bacon. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Bacon. Like and subscribe. <laughs>